so it's finally time for Marrakech. Uh, I actually already went through this level, but then again I had recording problems, so having to start it all over. So first let's talk to this dude. Welcome to Marrakech, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Ah, Mr. Bond, you're in room number five. By the way, the young lady by the pool was asking for you. Of course she was, it's James Bond. Dun, 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 dun. I was beginning to wonder if your luck had run out. Sorry, I ran into a bit of trouble. Q has a new toy for you. Find his lab here in Marrakech. Odd job, and a man called Mr. Fez are running arms deals out of a room in this hotel. Mr. Fez is the only one I've seen come and go. I think he's the key. I'll stay here and keep an eye on things. Check back with me for more news. Alright. I sure am enjoying my vacation. Plan on visiting the black market during my stay. Alright. Why not something you should tell people? What up? While I was out shopping yesterday, I found a store where they would only accept jeweled eggs as currency. Isn't that odd? Yep. Good thing I have one. Bunch, 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 bunch. Alright, so. I am going to go pay a visit to my room and see if there's anything in there. Spoiler alert. There is. It's locked. This room belongs to Hal. We call him the Great Snoozer. You hear what sounds like a large tub being filled with water. I think this is my room. Whip out that key. Unlock that door. Click. Um, I'm pretty sure all that's in here is... Yeah, I get it. But whatever. Yeah, I got this at the black market. They're really not very creative. Get away from that door, or I will have to call my hotel manager. I... You hear an odd whirring noise. Yes, I know. It's locked. So, let's go into the actual city now. Um, nothing. That's all. Wow. All right. And music change. So over here, I believe, is where the casino is, which I'll have to go to later. I've heard rumors of underground paths that connect all the important parts of the city. Basically, the city is a giant maze with a bunch of different places, and it's really convoluted and hard to figure out. Yeah, here's the casino. Um, I'll need to go there later. I guess technically I can stop by right now. Go ahead and grab my chips. $1,000 line of credit has been established for you, Mr. Bond. Please enjoy your stay. The thing is, even if you lose all this money, you can just get another 1000 So basically, you should always just bet 1000 Because that way you only have to win, like, twice. And because what you need is $2,500. But anyway, that's for later. For now, I'm gonna go just visit around town. Hey look, Osama Bin Laden. So let's just stab him a couple times. That's what we do to people in this game randomly, we murder them. And uh, you notice I just got a light vest, you can use that to uh, take less damage. And it has like five uses or something. I guess I'll go ahead and put it on. This game is such great combat. You like tap the button and stuff. See, my vest just broke, so I guess it's not that useful, but whatever. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Oh god, hello, Osama. There's a lot of Osama Bin Laden's in this town. And what's in here? Okay, this is... I'll trade an underground pass for something valuable. Something valuable like a jeweled egg? Oh, now that's valuable. The pass is yours. Alright, so basically you can go through all these really confusing passageways to figure out where to go. Or you can just get that pass, because you had to do something really confusing in the previous level. 
so you can use that to go through a secret passage that takes you to basically the three relevant places, which are right next to the hotel, um, the black market, and Q's uh, hideout, I guess? I don't know what you'd call it. Oh! Oh, sorry, I didn't see your pass! Alright. So, I think Q's is this one. Yep, here he is. What up, Q? Hello, 007. It's nice to see you finally arrived. Take this watch. It's outfitted with a powerful laser beam that will cut through most metals. And that is going to be very useful for cutting through metals, as you might have expected. Alt says all right in zero blah, blah, blah. So now I'm gonna head over to the black market. Actually, what is this? You had better have something worthwhile to trade if you want anything in the black market. Well, I don't really. Oh well. Hey! Murder, 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 murder. There. Bullets, yay. Alright, I think there's nothing in here. Yeah, what a great room. And... Here we are. The black market. With kitty cats. You could trade for almost anything in this market. I think that's kind of the idea. A man who had too many cats gave me this one. There is no such thing as too many kittens. You can get anything here for a price. I just love shopping! Because you're a woman. In this market. What up? Beware of rats. Especially the two-legged kind. Yeah, I don't know what that means. There are more attractions in this market than vendors. Cool. Nothing. I want a kitty. The cats are free to anyone who can feed them. Do you have any food? Nope. So I need food to get a cat. And I need a cat to kill a rat. And now I don't know what these guys are up to. They just want to stab me in the face. Then again, that's kind of what every random person wants to do to me in this game. And in real life. I do believe you have chicken, sir. I have the finest chickens in the market. Compare my prices with any vendor here. Yeah, when I think black market, I think people selling kittens and chickens. I'm sorry, old chap. I don't have time to haggle over prices with you. So I'm taking one to go. Yep, just steal it. No one cares. So now I can go get my pet kitty cat. Ah, he just breathed fire. Murder, 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 without the old chicken. And get a kitty cat. I'll give you one of my cats in exchange for a chicken to feed them with. I have always been partial to felines. Me too, they're growing. So now I can go take out a rat if I were to find one. Murder, murder, murder. Up, oh, this dude has a rat problem. Arg! He's a pirate, apparently. These mice are driving me crazy. I'd give anything to get rid of these vermin. Then have a pet kitty cat! I believe I have a solution to your problem, sir. Have you something that might sh shed some light for me? I don't. But I'm sure some other merchant could give you what you seek in exchange for this rare pearl. Thanks for the pearl, bro. Don't remember exactly what I do with this. Ah. You're in the wrong place, friend, unless you are looking to deal off the record. That sounds like someone who wants a pearl to me. Take my pearl. A jewel like this should entice you to reveal your merchandise. My trade is fake documents, friend. Take this passport in exchange for the pearl. With the criminal element in the market, there must be someone desperate for a new identity. Yeah, criminal element of, you know, like selling chickens. It's not really that bad. Alright. Passport. So now we need to find someone who's trying to flee the country. And I think I know where he is. Hey. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoops. I was 
derpy of me. Stabby stab stab. Do you believe there is someone fitting that description down here? Oh, okay. As you can tell, this game is slightly repetitive. It involves stabbing people in the face many, many times. Is there something that you want of me? Indeed there is. Illumination. Is there something you need of me? Escape. So you need a passport. I can give you new eyes with which to see if you provide me a new idea. Oh, wrong person. Whatever. This passport should do the trick. Thank you for the night vision goggles. Alright. Oh, okay. I believe there's someone who wants a fish. I don't really know what for. Maybe it's like a hidden thing, but... There's someone in the market where you talk to them, they're like, I want a fish! And I'm just like, well, too bad, because I don't even know where to get that. But now that I have night vision goggles, I can go into a place that is dark. Or alternatively, I could have probably just kept that thing from the previous level, right? Come on. The lamp I stole from the old dude. Anyway, now I can go in here. Now, at first I didn't realize what this song was. After a few seconds, you realize... Oh yeah, there are like over 9,000 enemies in here, so it's kind of annoying. And a lot of them have guns, but considering this is a Game Boy game, everything's extremely predictable. They get Watch the way the gun guys work. They just fire in one direction, repeatedly. They'll change directions based on where you're standing, and that's it. Yeah, just keep on doing the way you're doing, bro. Probably heal up. Especially because I've got like eight of these things. Oh, and as you can see, you can see their eyes even when it's dark, which is kind of nifty. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm just gonna. Ah, there we go. Up. Oh, three healing items that I don't need. Stabby McStab people. So you see there's a door over there, and that's actually why I need the uh, laser that I got from- Ow. What the fuck? Did that box just explode? Okay. That's actually why I needed the laser watch, so I can get through those. Ah, uh, stabby, stab, 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 stab. And healing items I don't need. Stabby, stabby, stabby. And more stabbing. Wow. Who could have seen that coming? I believe... Oh, never mind. This isn't even the right room. Dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Dead James Bond theme. Oh, God. They're tag-teaming my face off. Alright, and I believe I can't go through here yet either way, because, strange, this door is not only locked, it's covered by a protective glass. So, I actually need a key, as well as my laser cannon, to get through there. It is not actually a laser cannon. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Uh, fuck it, I'll just run by. That was probably not the best plan, but whatever. So let's see, what is in door number one? Pew. Q's laser watch should make quick work of the rustle in this door. Da -da, da -da -da. Now, you'll notice this is the casino music. Oh, look, it's a back room in the casino. That looks like the baccarat room in the casino. Indeed it does. So, seems like I could take someone out from here if I had to. Huh. Wink, wink. Anyway, there's one more door we need to open, but first we need to stab some faces. There it is. Okay, 
Whoa, jackpot. Wow, we haven't had a visitor in here for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we dance? I don't hear any music. Who needs music? My sister dances in the market. So, what the fuck? Only in James Bond would this ever happen. We rarely receive visitors. I hope you have interesting stories to share. Why don't you join me for a while? Oh yeah. Is there like goddess? We were wondering when you would make it over to our section of the room. You may have whatever you find in that chest. This is not a chest. But I will take your medkit. Up. Oh. You're welcome to stay with us for as long as you like. Please better say the same stuff. Come on in, the water is fine. How did you get in here? With good fortune as my guide. He is so swap! Alright, so let's talk to the main one. Welcome. My name is... Are you kidding me? Your name's Bliss? Alright. What's yours? Hey, that's not what you're supposed to say. James Bond. That's a very promising name. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> That's a very promising name, Miss Bliss. Have you always kept a jewel in your navel? That's a good question to ask. Only my most precious one. I'd love to see your collection. Ho ho ho! I have the finest treasures in all of Africa. Good. Now I got that gem. The awkward thing is, I don't remember exactly what this gem is for. I believe I can probably trade it in the black market for something. But first, I think I should finish up with the casino. So let's make our way back there. Teleport! <laughs> As electrical beast, the jolty and the let's plays would say. Alright, so we're back at the casino. It's time to win some money with Blackjack! Um, in case you for some reason don't know how to play Blackjack, even though it's like the best gambling game in the world. Uh, first of all, you bet every dollar you have. That's what you always do. That's the best way to gamble. Um, and basically, you try to get, you start out with a hand, one up, one down. You try to get as close to 21 as possible without going over. And if you go over, you lose, and as close, you're as closer to 21 wins. So let's see, I have a jack and a three. Hit me! Jack three and eight, stand, I win. So now I just need to win one more time because I need thousand five hundred dollars. Guess I'll stay, push, all right, that means it's a tie. King, queen, stand, wow, that was really easy. Whoops, did not mean to hit. Um, I guess I'll stand, hope it's a, oh God, why would I do that? What, what's happening? No, I don't even know what I just did. All right, well. That was pretty pathetic. I got all the money I needed and then lost it somehow. Anyway, if you run out of money, all you have to do is come over here and you get another thousand dollars. Just like in real life. If you lose your money gambling, they will provide you another thousand dollars. So now I can try once again. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be as lucky as I was those first two games. Add up a thousand. All right, so now I have won the money again, and that means I can go into the back room. The back rat room, for that matter. Earlier, you'd need 2,500 to get in here. Um, what's up, bro? It's nice to have some new competition, but be careful. Win too much, and you will spark the interest of the one man who never loses. Exactly what I want. And look, here's that hole. All right. I honestly have no idea how to play Baccarat, so I'm just gonna kinda do stuff and hope that I win. Ah, what do you know, I won. No. No. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Have I sparked his attention yet? All right, there he is. Hello, Mr. Bond. I see you're playing your hand well. Obviously well enough to attract the attention of the man who will lead me to art job. You'll get no help from me in this lifetime, Bond. Then it would seem it's time for me to say goodnight, Mr. Fez. 
So now, obviously, I need to take him out from a distance. But I can't just kill him for some reason. So I'm going to have to go get a blow... Or not a blowgun, but a uh, dart gun. Which I believe I get by trading that diamond. So... Alright, before heading to back to the black market, I remembered I needed to get this one mechanical thing. It's in the bottom right section of the level. It's kind of close to the black market, so you can just go there and then walk. And here it is. This dude. Ah, welcome, my good friend. We don't get many shoppers this far south ever since our job declared these streets a combat zone. Forgive my bad. Today I am offering a satellite relay. This useful device can help you find your way if lost. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Generously, he gave it to me without me having to pay anything. I don't know why. So, on to the black market! Back in the black market. Now I just need to find the person who wants that diamond. Which I don't really remember. I didn't really explore over to the left, so it might be over here. Up. Oh my gosh, do I need a heal. I think I have ten, ten medkits. Stabby, 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 stab. Did you just like... It looked like he like went in the room or something. Oh well. Up. Hello, friends. This guy looks suspicious. The catacombs may be dark and dreary, but you can find bliss there. Hey, I see what you did there. I could help you immensely if you could only find me a small red fish. Yeah, here's the guy I was talking about. I don't know what he's talking about at all. Um, I don't think this is the diamond guy, but I'll check. No, no, no. And I'm assuming you're not either. No. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had a small red fish to give to you. Oh, here we go. It's probably in here. People looking for answers to their problems should seek out... What is this, Portal 2? Okay. The dancer is beautiful. I'm waiting to ask her out. Okay. Cool, bro. The rat man is a serious criminal and a shrewd traitor. Is this not the right place? Oh, wait. I just remembered who I have to give the diamond to. It's actually exactly who she was talking about earlier. The rat man who is hiding in the catacombs. So I need to go back in there and explore through... First, I've turned these people into cubes by stabbing them in the face. I believe he's in the, like, bottom leftish area of the catacombs. And I'm gonna have to kill all those people again. So, for your sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. Alright, so I do believe he is right over here. Just through here. Oh my gosh, please don't shoot me. Oh, goodness. Ow, ow, ow. Do I... No, I don't. Well, just go for it. Alright, we're good. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's right down here to the left. Well, and more people to murder. Up, up, up. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people down here. There he is, the rat man. took the time to find me, you must really need something, but it will come at a high price. Then here's your diamond. Up, oh, or not, I guess I need to be able to see him to get to it. There's your diamond. A diamond that large must be very valuable. I won't ask how you got it. Text message. In return for this treasure, I need something that will lay my problem to rest. Take this tranquilizer gun. But mind you, it only has one dart. Use it wisely. Well, I know exactly who to use that on. So it's here. So now we gotta go back to that casino room from the back of the catacombs. So, I will warp there. And here we are again. So, time to take out the evil Mr. Fizz. Ah, good night, Mr. Fez. I hope you have the key to our jobs room. Yeah, and you also hope that no one checks his body and lets you just go in there and take it. Which, it happens because it's a video game, especially a video game from the 90s. Uh... Night vision goggles! 
So there's kind of a shortcut out of here. Just go into... Okay, hi, buddy. Just go into Miss Bliss's room. And you can just walk out the front door. And I will skip to the ho or the casino. Meanwhile, at the casino. Alright. So now I can go check out Mr. Fez's dead body. While well, sleeping body. Zzz, the most common piece of dialogue in this episode, at least. So now I've got the key to Odd Job's room. Uh, you probably noticed there was another locked door back in the hotel, as well as the locked door in uh, the catacombs. I believe to open those, you have to, like, win an absurd amount of money in the, uh, in the casino, and then that's probably how you get the fish, and I don't know all what it gives you, but I'm assuming some secret thing, but I'm not bothering to do that. So, let's pay a visit to Oddjob. This is not his room. No, okay. His room is the one on the end. I got this covered. 99 bullets, I'm totally ready. Click! Bring it on, Oddjob. Oh wow, why did I just give that? Anyway, I hear you eliminated Mr. Fez. Now I shall return the favor. Oh, what? It's not even hitting him. Oh, this is an impossible boss fight? Oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> not today, 007. By the way, is not job supposed to be like a midget? Which I guess is offensive, even though it's not. But, uh, he's definitely not, so I don't know. Boys! There aren't any boys here, but whatever. Strip him of any of his health items and drop him off in the desert. The blazing sun will take care of him. So, it's the Sahara Desert. <laughs> 